Day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, give us the strength in our faith to confront the faithlessness that surrounds us every day. Not to go forth as a judge, but to stand forth as a witness. To forgive powerfully. To remind people of your word, to remind people of the promises you have given, and to show that we at least hold fast. Lord, as people revel in their sinful lots, as they take the goodness with which they could live life and abuse it and use it against one another, as we watch our leaders divide the spoils, as the centurions did before the cross. Lord, let us hold fast. Grant us the courage, and the wisdom, and the resolve in your Holy Spirit to hold on to faith in you when we are persecuted, when we are ridiculed, when we are just ignored. Lord, and when we are so sure in our faith, Lord, help us to find humility. That we will not just be holding on to what we want to believe, and we want, what we want to believe is true, but we will honestly and truly be holding on to you, our peace. And in that peace, O oh Lord, help us find rest in this day. Help us find resolve in the week that has passed. Help us look to the time of worship which is before us. And help us to engage in the life of worship that is our tomorrow, our forever with you. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Reading from Isaiah 66 at verse 3. He that killeth an ox as if he slew a man, he that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck, he that offereth an oblation, as if he offered swine's blood, he that burneth incense, as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. When we think we've got the faith right, when we think that our way of believing in God is the right way to believe in God, when we are so resolved that what we have chosen to honor most in Scripture is that which is the best honoring of God, let us hold the prayer in our heart that we have the humility to try and learn more, the, hum the, the, the wisdom to say, and God, please show me the truth. So often in the life of the church, we have divided ourselves against one another, stating that we are right and forgetting about God's righteousness. We have clung to truths, if you would call them that, reasoned arguments, which are less than truths, and claim that those re reasoned arguments and those debated subjects because they have a majority vote, because they have a, a popular following, because we seem to offer a conjecture on what they are, that they are the absolute truth. We live in the midst of so much error, so much brokenness, and we are divided against one another. And that and this isn't just denominations. This is each of our approach to Scripture as if our understanding is right. Only God is right. And do we want God to leave us to our wrong ends? To our, our foul practices? There is something more, something better. And something that comes from the desire to be in worship together before God not for our sakes, but for God's glory. May we find that in this time of worship ahead. 
and in all that we would praise and worship and celebrate in our day of rest with God, let us be sure that above all, God is praised. God bless and keep you. Amen.